In this video, I'm going to show you how to knit these cute plushy Easter eggs. These are fun and easy to make. We're going to knit them flat, seam them up, and then stuff them. I'm going to walk you through the entire process, every stitch and step of the way. We're going to start by knitting the piece first, then we will bind off, seam everything up, stuff them, and then kind of close up the top. So let's get started. Each one of our eggs is about three and a half inches tall, two and a half inches wide, and has a circumference around of about seven and a half inches. For this project, you'll need a pair of scissors, a tapestry or yarn needle. A tape measure is helpful, not necessary, but if you'd like to measure your egg as you knit along. You'll need some fiber fill to stuff your egg when we're finished. Just a handful is fine like I have here. This is probably extra, actually a little bit extra. Um, alternatively, if you don't have fiber fill on hand, you could use some yarn scraps or fabric scraps or even cotton balls or something like that, whatever you have on hand. We're gonna be using a pair of six millimeter US 10 straight knitting needles for this project. And then for our yarn, we're gonna use some super bulky six yarn. So if you look at the little uh, illustration on the back, the little yarn ball with a number in it, we're gonna be using a six super bulky. Now the um, recommended needle size for the yarn I have here, this is called Honey Bunny from Hobie um, in the lilac colorway in case you're wondering. But um, it does recommend this six millimeter US 10 needles, but if you use this super bulky six on here, if you just look at your yarn label, you'll be just fine. It can be uh, fairly flexible in that regard. So let's get started. We're going to begin our egg by casting on six stitches. So what you'll wanna do is give yourself, now it's not a lot of stitches, so your tail doesn't need to be too long. I would say this is about 12 inches, no more than that. Now what you wanna do is wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop. Bring the yarn behind your loop, reach in with one of your needles, bring up that loop and tighten. This is our first stitch. Now we're going to cast on a total of six. So in case you've never done the long tail cast on before, this yarn goes back to my yarn ball and this is my tail that's kind of facing me. So you're going to take your index finger and your thumb and you're going to go in from underneath and then kind of clamp it down with your pinky and open it up so it makes like a diamond shape. Take your needle and come up under your thumb, go around your finger and through that thumb loop, just like that. Here's our second stitch. Keep holding your yarn the same way. Go up under the thumb loop, around and through the finger loop, and then through the thumb loop. That's three, four, five, and six, so a total of six stitches we're gonna start with. Grab your other needle, and we're gonna pass this to our left hand and get a little bit of yarn here out of our yarn ball. So for row one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna knit into the front and back of the stitch for all six of these stitches. So the knit front and back is when you knit into the front of the stitch and the back. I'm gonna show you how to do that, but we're gonna double the number of stitches. So each one of these stitches, we're gonna turn into two stitches, okay? So to do that, let me come in a little bit closer so you can see. What we're gonna do is we're going to insert the needle up under the right needle, up under the left needle. We're gonna wrap the yarn around that bottom needle and we're gonna bring this bottom needle from the back to the front, picking up that loop, and instead of pushing it off like we normally would when we knit, we're gonna also go to the back of this loop and insert the needle. Wrap the yarn around that needle once more. Now bring the needle from the back to the front, catching that loop along the way, and now you can see we have two stitches now, and you can push that off the needle, okay? Let's do that again. Knit into the front as you normally would, but instead of pushing that off, go around to the back and knit the back as well, okay? It's a very simple increase if you don't want a decorative hole. Sometimes if you do certain increases, it can give a, like a little hole in your work and we don't want that for our egg because we'll be stuffing our egg. So we're gonna knit into the front and then knit into the back. If you notice, I'm turning my work towards me as I work. Um, that helps you see what you're doing. So knit into the front, and then I sort of flip it over and go and I knit into the back of the stitch as well. 
knit into the front of the stitch, turn, knit into the back of the stitch, knit into the front of the stitch, knit into the back of the stitch, okay? So we just did that in every stitch across, and now we have 12 stitches. So two, four, six, eight, 10, and 12, okay? You can kind of tighten that tail up if you want to. So now what we're gonna do for row two is we're gonna purl all of our stitches. So we wanna keep our yarn in the front of us when we purl. We're gonna take our needle, and this time we're gonna take the right needle and we're gonna go over top of the left needle. A little bit different. And then we're gonna take the yarn and we're gonna wrap it around that top needle only. And we're gonna send our needle from the front to the back this time, catching that loop and pushing it off. So go into the top, wrap the yarn around that right needle, catch that loop, push it off. So you just wanna purl all the stitches across, just like that. If you'd like a refresher on this and to see it uh, again, you can look at my YouTube shorts on the channel and I have a little uh, video on how to do the purl stitch. But it's very simple. Just insert your hook in the top, wrap the yarn around that top needle, bring it from the front to the back, catching that loop and push it off, okay? And just purl the rest of these stitches. Just like that, okay? So now, once you get all your stitches purled for row two, we're gonna put our work back in our left hand. And for row three, we're gonna do the knit into the front and back of each stitch once again. We're gonna double our stitches one more time. This is gonna give that round egg shape that we're after. Okay, so grab a little bit more yarn if you need to. And once again, we're gonna knit into the front and the back of each stitch. So let's do a few more together. Knit into the front, knit into the back. Knit into the front, knit into the back. Once you've done this stitch a bunch of times, you don't necessarily always have to turn the work to see it. You can just sort of like reach back and do it, okay? When you're learning how to knit, it's really important that you focus on the quality of the stitch versus the speed. The speed will come. Speed just comes with practice, okay? So you just wanna keep practicing beautiful stitches and your speed will come. All right, so we're just knitting into the front and the back of each stitch all the way across. All right, just knitting into the front and back of the last stitch of our row. And row three is complete. So you can see we're starting to get sort of like a, a rounded shape because it's growing, okay? So for row four, we are just going to once again purl all of our stitches, okay? So remember, bring that yarn in front and then insert their needle into the top here. And we're just gonna purl our stitches the same way we've done before. I'm gonna kind of zip through some of these stitches because we did this a couple rows back. So just purl all the stitches for row four. Okay, for row five, we are going to knit all the stitches. So we've done a nice increase to get that egg shape and now we're gonna kind of build some height now. So for row five, you just wanna knit all the stitches all the way across, super easy. Okay, so just knit, knit. If you need a little refresher on the knit stitch, just insert the needle, come up under that needle on the left, wrap the yarn around that bottom needle only, bring the needle from the back to the front, catching that loop, and push it off, and that's all. Okay, so just knit all the stitches for row five. Okay, so for row six, once again, just purl all of those stitches. Again, we're just kind of working the sides of our egg right now. So go ahead and purl all the stitches all the way across. For row seven, once again, we're gonna knit all the stitches, okay? So just go across and knit all those stitches. For row eight, we're going to purl all of our stitches. So once again, just work a purl stitch in every stitch across. Coming up to the end of row eight, where we were just working purl stitches all the way across. And now for row nine, we're going to knit all the stitches once again, okay? You can see we're getting some really nice work here 
We're getting some length on our egg. So again, for row nine, just knit all the stitches all the way across. All right, coming up to the end of row nine. And now for row 10, we're gonna work some purl stitches once again. We get a little bit more yarn here. And we're just gonna work a purl in each stitch all the way across. So just purl all those stitches. All right, just finishing up row 10. So now we have some great height on our egg. We've been kind of plugging along here. So for row 11, we're gonna start to decrease now. So at the beginning we increased, now we're gonna start tapering it back in to get our egg shape, okay? So for row 11, what we're gonna do is we're going to knit one stitch, and then we're gonna knit two together. If you've never done a knit two together, you just insert your needle into two stitches like this, and then just knit that as you normally would, okay? So we're just gonna continue the sequence all the way across. Let's do a few together. So knit one stitch, and then knit two together. Then knit one stitch, then knit two together. You notice I'm sort of using my thumb to sort of like bring the next stitch forward. Knit one stitch, knit two together, and so forth all the way across, okay? So we're gonna start tapering our egg inward now. So knit one stitch, knit two together, knit one stitch, and knit two together all the way across our little egg here. Knit one stitch, and knit two together, okay? Whoops, sometimes that very last stitch on the end can be a little snug, but that's okay, just kinda wiggle it in there, okay? So row 11 is complete, and I like to just straighten things out when I complete a row. Okay, row 12, super easy. We're just gonna purl every stitch once again. Okay, so come in from the top like you've been doing with your purls, and just purl every stitch across. Okay, so just work your row 12, purling all those stitches, okay? All right, just working that last purl of the row for row 12. And now, this is our last row, row 13. So for row 13, we're gonna knit two together all the way across, okay? So remember, a couple rows back, we insert, inserted our needle into two stitches this time, and you just knit the stitch as you normally would. And so two stitches becomes one stitch. Okay, so knit two together, knit two together. Using my thumb to sort of separate them, whatever helps you. Everybody sort of has their own style of how they like to hold things and how they like to kind of manipulate the yarn into place. Whatever helps you, I like to use my thumb as a helper. And we're just knitting two together all the way across, okay? Just like that. And now we're on our last two stitches. Remember that last one can be a little snug, but it's okay. Okay, so here we are. And the majority of our egg is complete. So now we just need to bind off all of our stitches. Now the bind off is super easy. We're just gonna do a basic bind off here. Now our bind off is super easy. We're just gonna do the basic bind off. There are other ways to bind off, um, but we're gonna do a, a super easy one. So to bind off, what we're gonna do is we're going to knit one stitch, just as you normally would, knit a second stitch, same thing as you normally would, and then I give it a little tug just to kind of loosen my loops up because you're gonna take your left needle and you're gonna go in that first loop here and you're gonna lift it up over that other stitch and off your needle, okay? Knit another stitch and we're just gonna do this until we don't have any stitches left. Lift it up, over and off. Knit your next stitch. 
lift it up over and off knit the next stitch same thing I like to give it a little tug it kind of loosens things up a little bit so you can get your needle in there and we're just doing this with every stitch all the way across all right and then you'll just be left with one loop when we're done doing this okay so let's knit that last stitch on our needle and use that needle loosen things up lift it up over and off okay so now our egg we're done knitting our egg so we just need to cut the yarn and you want to leave a tail because we're going to use that to kind of close our egg up later and if you're using the chenille yarn like me it kind of gets little crumbs so you can kind of like pull those crumbs off just so they're not in your way it's totally fine it's very normal for that yarn to do that okay so now you have one little stitch on your needle be very careful at this point because you this is an active stitch still you don't want it to like slide off so kind of loosen up that loop a little bit and then we're going to take our tail and we're going to send it through that loop and then just pull tight to fasten it down okay you might need to like sort of snug it down okay so our egg is sort of egg like but we need to seam it so what we're going to do the outside of our egg is these iconic knitted V's that you see here the inside of our egg looks like bumps this was the pearl side that we did so it looks like bumps so this is the inside this is the outside okay so what we want to do now is cut a piece of yarn I would say about 24 inches long I'm cutting a little bit more than I think I need grab your tapestry needle and what we're going to do now is we're going to seam up our egg so turn the outside inside so it's inside out and then you know you can see the bottom of your egg and the top of your egg and this is where we did our bind off so you can see the little V's around the top edge you're gonna leave that in place you're only gonna seam it to about here because we need that opening to stuff it okay so start here at the bottom and we're just gonna seam our egg up okay so pull insert your needle and pull it almost all whoops you don't want to do that <laughs> go almost all the way through until you have a little tail and we're just going to tie it very snug just like that okay and then we're going to seam our way around this egg we're just using the whip stitch the whip stitch is a very simple uh, seam that you use a lot for knitting and crochet and sometimes sewing and all it is basically is a spiral through your work it's nice and invisible especially when you use a matching piece of yarn like I'm doing here um, it's very everything's very hidden your seams so we're just continuing around our egg here just seaming up the side and remember where we did our bind off you can see kind of like it almost creates like a, a little edge you can see we're going to keep that opening intact we're going to seam that last part up at the end okay so when you get to where that opening is that you want to leave you can it, it's kind of marked by that tail okay um, go almost all the way through leaving yourself a little loop here send your needle through and then just do that once or twice to get yourself a strong knot okay so now what we're gonna do you can remove your needle and all these tails that we have we're not gonna worry about it because they're gonna be tucked inside the egg you won't even have to weave them in just the very last tail so what you're gonna do is take your egg and you're gonna turn it now right side out just like that go nice and slow you don't want to put any stress on on your um, stitches okay so now it just looks like a deflated egg <laughs> and so what we're gonna do is save this tail um, that was at the top of your egg because we're going to use that to kind of close up the top but these other tails just tuck them right on in your egg don't need to worry about those they'll be hidden forever so you can see we have a nice opening that we can use to stuff our egg so grab your fiber fill and what you're going to do is just break it off into small pieces you don't want to put a huge ball of fiber fill in your egg all at once because it'll look lumpy if you do small pieces you'll have a lot more control of how your egg looks and as you're stuffing your egg don't pay too much attention to the shape of it right now it looks like a pumpkin or something we're going to shape it up later okay but just stuff small amounts at a time of your fiber fill into your egg and we're just gonna 
You want to sort of shape it up as you go, okay? It's starting to look more like an egg. You can kind of roll it in your hands if it's looking too round. And then to finish our egg, now it is kind of a balancing act. You don't want to stuff it so full that it's going to be like bulging out and distorting your seams. You don't want your seams to be stretched. But at the same time, you want enough to be in there so it doesn't look deflated, okay? So once you get enough fiber fill in there, to your liking, you can thread your tapestry needle again. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around the top of our egg and we're just gonna go in and out, in and out, all around the top. So when you do a sewing seam that's in and out like that, that's called a, a running stitch, okay? Just FYI. So we'll just go all the way around and that will allow us to, see I'm back where I began, so just bring your needle back where you started. Just make sure you're getting all those edges. And then what you can do is you can like pull it snug, like a drawstring, okay? So just kind of pull that snug and then just pick up one more loop. Pull it almost all the way through and go in through that loop of your egg, okay? Now, the neat thing about when you make stuffed things like this is that it's, um, easy to, de to deal with your ends, okay? So all we're gonna do is go down through the middle and then just come out on a random spot on another part of your egg and bring it through, okay? Now notice I brought it through, I pulled it pretty snug. See how it's like pulling in? That's okay, we're gonna fix that. But you wanna pull it in a little bit because when you give it a snip like this, we'll get all of our crumbs out of the way. Our tail is gonna disappear, okay? So once again, you'll want to shape up your egg. Now I'm kind of rolling it around, almost like Play-Doh. You sort of want to like shape it up, okay? You can kind of taper the top in a little bit, just kind of accentuate all those stitches that you created. And our egg is complete. It looks great and it's ready to put in a bowl for decorative purposes or you can hang it from a tree and it's super cute. You could also have a little Easter egg hunt if you want like a, a non-candy option. You can hide these all around. So that is how you knit a plushy egg. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click that subscribe button to get all the latest Sparkle and Splatter video updates. Bye everyone.